Hey, if you use a MyOps trigger like this and you're aware of the problem that they have that you can't actually connect your camera and your flash to this device at the same time, then keep watching because I'm going to show you a little solution to this. Hey there, my name is Terrence and this is Photography in 123. If this is your first time to my channel, what I teach you is how to use your camera properly, how to take great photos, and keep you updated on cool gear, so sort of like the MyOps trigger. If you want to take good photos, and I would imagine everybody does, hit subscribe now. You can also press the bell notification icon. That's the little bell right beside the subscribe button, and what that will do is ensure whenever my video is posted, you'll be given a notification in your YouTube app right away. If you use the MyOps trigger like I do, and uh, you play around with high-speed photography, you've probably noticed one of the frustrating components is that even though there's a port for both your flash and your camera on here, you'll only control one of them at a time. You can't actually plug both of them in at the same time and have them in sync. Arguably they could both be plugged in at the same time, just the photos won't be in sync and you're going to get something that's not going to look good at all. I had contacted MyOps about that and they said yeah that is uh, the way it works. Uh, so I've put some thought into how do you get around this. The simple answer I've thought of and some of the commenters to my previous video thought of as well is frankly just using a flash trigger. So in conjunction with using the MyOps, you'll actually want to put one of these on top of your camera and connect one of these to your flash. What this is, if you don't have one of these, is it's a trigger so that when you take a picture it's going to sync to your flash which can be off camera, it can be 5 feet away, 20 feet away, wherever it's going to be. It'll trigger it and it'll take the flash at the proper sync speed to your camera. What that means, of course, is you'll have to have this device in your hot shoe and your camera. You can't put your MyOps trigger on the hot shoe. But that's fine. It doesn't use the hot shoe for communications. It's just more for convenience of having it sit somewhere. But you can just have it dangling to the side or if it's on a table, uh, just sitting on the table to the side of your camera. If you don't have a flash trigger, I have a link below in my description where you can go check them out. They can come in a wide range of prices. A uh, popular model is Pocket Wizard. I find those are a little more expensive but there's a whole bunch of different ones you can get. The one I have is a, got years ago, CyberSync Pulsey Buff. You might be able to go to his website. He might still sell these. Uh, but there's a bunch of different brands, uh, different price ranges. Obviously, the more you spend, the better it's gonna work, but depending on what you're doing, you might not wanna spend a lot of money for that. On that note, the alternative is, if you don't wanna spend the money, but you don't wanna have the same effect, then what you wanna get is this. This is a flash sync cable. Uh, all you do is the same kind of thing, you connect it from your camera to your flash. I have here, I think it's 50 feet. They work as well as the flash triggers, but the difference is obviously a trigger is going to be using a radio frequency. This is going to be a cable in your photo shoot. If you're working with inanimate objects and just playing around with high speed photography and not worried about people tripping over it, this is completely fine. A lot cheaper, I've got a link to that below as well, you can find them on Amazon. And that's your cheapest solution to sync your camera flash when you're using your MyOps trigger for high-speed photography. Now, if you could do me a favor, have you used the MyOps trigger and you've had any issues with it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what other problems uh, people are having with it. Or if you found some great uses that people haven't really covered anywhere, let us know in the comments too. I'd really like to see that. If you found the video useful, please subscribe, like, share it, and let all your friends know. I'll see you next time.